right, so this is my extra credit project on Riemann sums for my calculus class. Uh, Riemann sums were named after the German mathematician Bernard Riemann. Riemann sums can be used to approximate the curve underneath the graph, or in my particular case, uh, the total distance traveled over a specific period of time. The area can also be known as the integral, and it may also be used to define the integration operations. So in my particular case, I traveled for an hour, recording my speed every four minutes so that I could make a approximation uh, once I pieced together all my data. So four minutes out of an hour is just one fifteenth of an hour. So that's what I put my graph in. So for my less remand sum, you want to start at the lessmost point in the graph and then just extend it uh, one over or however many subdivisions you have. Uh, so right here I was going 120 kilometers an hour when I took the data and that would be over four minutes. So uh, the total distance I traveled in this uh, rectangle in the graph was eight kilometers. And then for the right Riemann sum, you want to start at the rightmost point of the graph. And right here, I was traveling 100 kilometers an hour. And again, that would be over four minutes. So the total dif dif distance traveled right there is 6.66 kilometers. And then you're going to want to repeat the same process for every single one uh, of the rectangles. And then for the midpoint Riemann graph, you make the rectangle in between the each point that you plotted. So right here, I was going uh, 115 kilometers an hour. Well, that's the average of those two and that would be over four minutes. So the distance traveled in that rectangle is 7.66 kilometers. And in each one, I found that the estimate was relatively close to what I actually traveled. Uh, so in this, for the left remand sum, uh, I got an estimate of 93.67 kilometers, which was my upper estimate. For my right Riemann sum, I got an estimate of 92.63 kilometers, which was my upper estimate. And then for the midpoint Riemann sum, I got 93.3 kilometers, which obviously was my mid estimate. And the total distance that I traveled was about 93 kilometers, so it's a pretty good estimate. And the conclusion, the reason that it wasn't exactly uh, on my data, or the estimate wasn't the exact distance that I traveled, was because I didn't take the speed every single second. Uh, if I had taken uh, the speed more, more times, then it would have provided a more accurate answer.